Do you want to know how to post on Pinterest using phone or desktop? Do you wonder, can I post to Pinterest for free without using a scheduler? You can, and with all the recent Pinterest changes, here's a video that shows you exactly how you can save your videos and images to Pinterest the right way for free. So hey there, it's Natalie Bardo, your Pinterest coach here. And if you love Pinterest marketing tips, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I love being your Pinterest coach. First things first, we should talk about what exactly you are posting on Pinterest. So since idea pins are no more, we are focusing on saving images or videos. So those images can be photos you've taken from your phone or that you've designed in Canva. They can also be videos that you filmed directly on your phone or repurposing from TikTok or Instagram Reels, or they can be something that you created using Canva or a video editing app like InShot. So either way, to start posting on Pinterest, you're going to need either image files or video files. So if we're talking about images, typically you wanna make sure that is a JPEG or a PNG file. And if we're talking about videos, you wanna make sure it's an MP4 or an MOV video. Standard formats for anything you're creating or taking on your phone or desktop. So be sure to have your images or videos ready to post on Pinterest. So that means if you're uploading from desktop, make sure they're saved to your computer. And if you're uploading from the mobile app, make sure those images or videos are saved to your phone's camera roll. Then we're going to start posting on Pinterest. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to post on Pinterest from the app, which is mobile, your phone, or from desktop right on the Pinterest website. You should know that recently Pinterest made changes to the pin builder or the pin creation tool, whatever they're calling it these days, basically what you use to save or post your image or video to Pinterest. So this is a completely up-to-date training so that you know how to post on Pinterest properly and actually get found in search and drive traffic because we want to grow our monthly views and get clicks, right? So first, let's go over how to post on Pinterest using phone or the mobile app. So of course, get your phone and you're going to want to make sure that you've downloaded the Pinterest app if you haven't as yet. So go ahead and open it, log into your account. From that main screen, you're going to click on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. You're going to see the option saying start creating now and you'll see pin or board. If you still see the option to create idea pins, your account has not been updated as yet. This option is being phased out. So we are focusing on creating image pins and video pins, which are just called pins. There's no separate button for that. So click on pin. So with your images or videos you want to post on Pinterest, save to your camera roll, you're going to go ahead and select those so that Pinterest can post them. So go ahead and add them. You're able to manage your photos here. You want to add more to Pinterest, click on manage and then pick more photos. You can choose more images from your camera roll or in that same vein, you can click change settings. And in your settings, you're able to say, okay, selected photos or all photos, for example. So back in Pinterest, I'm going to select the image I want to upload. So when you're posting on Pinterest, you have to do your pins one at a time. So I'm selecting the first image, I'm hitting next. Here you see all the options for customizing this image. So say it was just a photo from your phone. You're able to add text overlays. So this is a text overlay, for example, right? You can change the fonts, you can change the colors, it can have a fill in the background, a highlight, you can change the alignment, you can change the color. You have all these options for your text overlays and you can do this right in the app, okay? So you can also delete a layer, just like if you're using any social media app. You can add music, right? You can choose from here and search for a song, for example, or a genre new releases, you can add it to your pins. Okay, you can also add a voiceover if you wanna make this into a video. You have the option to record that as well. 
Okay, and then you can also add stickers. So if, for example, you are in the US or UK market, you have the option to tag products, including affiliate products in your pins. I have an entire video all about that if you wanna learn more about tagging products in your pins. But what I want you to focus on is click next. So here is where we add the finishing touches, which is basically all of the SEO factors for our content so that we get found in search and we're able to get clicks and traffic. So you're gonna to wanna to write a pin title. So for your pin title, you can use the title of your blog post or it can be something similar. So on this image, it says things to do in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. For here, I can say, you know, get your guide to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you write a description. So this is an optimized pin description that uses all of the keywords relating to your content. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste this in. All right. If you need help with things like Pinterest SEO, I encourage you to check out this playlist that I've created, which teaches you how to do everything from finding keywords to writing pin tiles and pin descriptions. So one of the new updates to posting on Pinterest properly is that we now have the option for details on any pin. So those could be notes, those can be supplies, those can be ingredients. So in this section, you can add, of course, if this is a recipe, if this is a craft or a how-to, you can write the supplies, the ingredients, what's needed. If this is a blog post, for example, you can add in to these notes the different breakdowns. So if for this, restaurants in Fort Lauderdale, best hotels, places to stay, things to do, activities, attractions, you can add these headings, which you pull from your content right to the details section. Then of course, you're gonna paste in your link. This is where you want this pin to link to. Links are optional, but of course, if you're working on growing your blog or business or brand, you want people to check out your website. Next, you're gonna choose a board. So think of Pinterest boards as folders. So where would it make sense for you to categorize this? So this is a pin about Fort Lauderdale. I'm gonna add this to either a board on Florida or Fort Lauderdale, that makes sense. So think about how can I categorize all of the pins that I'm posting on Pinterest? So select that board. Then we're jumping down to tag related topics. In tagging related topics, you are helping Pinterest to understand more what your content is about. So you're gonna search for related tags. You have the option to add a maximum of 10. I encourage you to aim for about five. So just click and add in those main keywords. So if it's a recipe, search for a recipe. If it's a travel tip, search for travel. If it's a quote, search for quote. If it's for a lifestyle hack, search for those broader categories and you'll be able to find related topic tags. Then on the app, you also have the option to schedule it for later. So you can schedule your pins to post in the future in the next 30 days right on the Pinterest app. So you can select that if you wanna schedule it out, choose the day and the time, and this pin is gonna go out at that time. So that's how you post on Pinterest using your phone from the mobile Pinterest app. You wanna make sure that you do optimize for SEO. Yes, it takes an extra few minutes, but those few minutes of adding in these details is gonna be the difference between nobody seeing your pin and your pin being properly categorized and sending you traffic for years to come. So here's how to post on Pinterest from desktop. Of course, you're gonna to head to the Pinterest website, pinterest.com. No matter what country you're in, you'll be forwarded to that particular version of the Pinterest website. You're gonna log into your account. So the easiest way to do this is from the top left-hand side of the Pinterest website. You're gonna click on create and then click on pin. Once again, if you can still create idea pins, this is being phased out. So from the new uploader, right? We'll see that things have changed. It used to look like this, and it was a lot easier for you to upload multiple pins at a time. So let's hope that Pinterest makes some updates to the new version of the pin creation tool. So when we click on create pin, you'll see right here, it says start creating pins. You should know that you can draft a pin for 30 days. That's the same on mobile or the same on desktop. Your drafts do not transfer, however, from one to the other. So if you create a draft on mobile, you will not be able to see it on desktop and vice versa. So you're gonna click on create new. You can drag and drop in those files or you can select them, whichever works for you. 
you'll notice that right now you even get this notice saying that once you publish your pin, only board selection and engagement settings can be edited. So going forward, you have to make sure that you optimize your pin when you post it because you won't be able to change it later. So you're going to go ahead and add in that pin title, those pin descriptions, the notes and the details that we talked about previously, add your link, choose your board, and find once again those topic tags. Similarly to using the mobile uploader for Pinterest, you can also edit the image. So if you click on the pencil in the top right hand side, you're able to add text layers to this pin. However, graphic design tools like Canva are going to offer you more flexibility and better capabilities when it comes to designing graphics or videos for Pinterest. So I encourage you to do this using another tool and then just upload whatever it is, whether it's an image or video finished and ready to go, whether that's on mobile or desktop, instead of trying to do those features from the desktop app. So once you're ready to have your image or your video on Pinterest, you're going to click on publish and there it goes. You have now posted on Pinterest to see the pins that you've posted on Pinterest. You're going to want to make sure you navigate to your profile so you can click on your profile picture, whether we're talking mobile or desktop, it's the same and you're able to see your pins. If you want to look at your boards where you've been saving your pins to, you're going to want to click on your saved tab and you're able to see all of your boards there. But from your profile page or your created tab, all of your pins will be posted with the most recent ones at the top and the older pins at the bottom. So that's how you post on Pinterest using phone or desktop. You can schedule your pins 30 days in advance for free on the Pinterest website. But of course, you can also use a scheduler like Tailwind, which is going to enable you to schedule even further out than 30 days. But the Pinterest website does a pretty great job, especially in allowing you to optimize those details, those topic tags, and those other fields that are important for SEO. So speaking of posting on Pinterest, you want to make sure you're doing it the right way and you're not making any mistakes. So be sure to sign up for my free Pinterest masterclass where I break down the top three mistakes you could be possibly making on Pinterest and exactly how to fix it today. I share with you secrets for finding click-worthy content, designing pins, as well as coming up with a simple strategy that you can commit to. So be sure to click that link right down below and sign up for this free class and let's level up your Pinterest marketing. And be sure to, of course, like this video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stick around. You're gonna find this video helpful as well. So bye for now. I'll see you in the next video.